During his long, colorful public career, Jim Traficant was never shy about discussing his maladies. But I must tell you that I have taken some laxative medication from having eaten too much cheese. And if you hang around me too long, you're really going to get a news story because I'm going to go about 8.5 on a Richter. That bandage on his finger? And, uh, Said he cut it while sawing wood. It had to be a much larger problem that landed him in the Federal Medical Center in Rochester, Minnesota. Up until Monday, he was locked up at a regular prison in Raybrook, New York. Today, his daughter wouldn't comment on the move. His lawyer, who last spoke to him five months ago, was in the dark. I had no idea that he was in, suffering from any medical problems. This could be something that just came up. The prisons have a relatively limited infirmary. And the only reason to transfer a prisoner here is for some type of chronic condition. That includes psychiatric treatment. Certainly, the ex-congressman's mental stability was always a topic of speculation. Think back at the time he was Mahoning County Sheriff, and the chair of the Democratic Party tried to get Traficant declared legally insane. I'm convinced that the sheriff is nuts, and if he isn't, then the rest of us are in serious trouble. Spokespeople from the Bureau of Prisons are not permitted to comment on the medical matters of inmates. What we do know is no matter how long Traficant remains in Minnesota, it won't affect the length of his sentence. Joe Bell, 27 First News.